Okay, so, you know, I've been gone for a little bit because of work and stuff, and I got a day break, and then I work again, and then I've got a break for a while from work. But of course, I still have class for a little bit. So, basically, I decided that this week's not going to be that competitive in terms of, like, battles and stuff like that. Move side of the week and Challenge Cup Thursday, of course, I'll still stick around. But the rest of it's going to be pretty, pretty low-key, honestly. Uh, so, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to do a rental. Uh, let's do a single battle. We'll do the left-hand ticket. We'll see what we got here. So far we got a girder. That might be useful. A, uh, bulk up girder. A razor fan leaving a... With a lot of crit stuff. Semi-poor with expert belt. Not really sure why he has acrobatics, because that's not going to be useful. Arch in with pluck. A sawaddle that apparently is has high defense and uh, trying to attack. Be interesting, ducklet. Okay, we're going to cancel, and we're going to try this again. There we go. Oh, whoa, no. So apparently in the rental, there's this randomized draw that if you choose, like, something, like, middle, or something like that, you might get better, or something, I'm guessing, I just, yeah. It's confusing. A physical attacking Galvantula could be interesting. The scope lens, so that would come in handy at least. Uh, Levini could be interesting. Watch Hog kind of looks like it sucks a bit. Pig Knight could be interesting, especially since he has Quick Claw. And Boofalan could be interesting with Life Orb. And Stoutland could be interesting with a Razor Claw. Okay. So, um. Let's do Galvantula. Pig Knight. And Boofalant. Looks like I'm all physical attacking, which is highly annoying. Because uh, if, like, the opponent has a Glyscore or something, I'm screwed. But uh, I should be okay, because it should only be a Nuvo Pokemon. And there's not too many physical Nuvo Pokemon, I don't think. Physical bulky. There might be. Alright, here we go. It's rental, so let's see how we do. She begins and ends the battle with respect. Very polite. Fighter Destiny! Yay! Alright, so. Attention, show respect, let's have a good battle. Right, so I'm facing Destiny. And uh, next week might be some pretty let's play heavy intensive stuff. I might do lots of let's plays and all that. Not really sure on that one yet. That That's still in the decision making. Uh, but I do have, like, a fall break or Thanksgiving break, technically, as it's called in the United States, because of Thanksgiving. Most of other places call it, like, fall break or something. Like, they have a fall break at some point. And so that's kind of the idea between mine, I guess. And I'm going to Thunder Wave. I thought I would be slower than him, which is why I Thunder Waved. I used a worthless turn. And he screeched, which lowers my defense, which doesn't really matter if I get a crit on him or something. But it is going to definitely take two hits to KO him, I'm sure he's sure at this point. So, we'll see how this does. Yep, two hit KO, like I thought. And he's going to X Scissor, and because my defense is low, I'll probably die. Which is, uh, you know, probable. Eh, wait, I'm the one with scope lens, and he crits me? What the heck? Right, well, I have Big Knight, who has Quick Claw, which is kind of useless against a, uh, a Scolipede, but, I mean, what are you going to do? We'll go with Flare Blitz, because that'll do a nice chunk of damage, actually more than a nice chunk of damage, it's going to KO him, because of super effectiveness and all that. And I get a useless crit, what, it, what is this madness? 
Alright, well, Pig Knight is going to do some work, hopefully. I believe in you, Pig Knight. Now I don't, because Alamomola is here, and, you know, I already lost my Galvantula, which is my main counter to this Alamomola, and it's faster than me, which uh, sucks. And I'm going to miss the head smash. Good thing that thing doesn't have, like, recoil if you miss it. Guess I'm going to go with Poofalent, because Poofalent might be my only chance to take out this Alamomola. Which is highly annoying, might I add. Gonna dive. Gonna not do that much damage, because Boofalant has some pretty respectable... Um, pretty respectable... Defense. Even uninvested. Let's go with a head charge. I wish it was reckless, because that probably would have done tons more damage. But, oh well. At least with Life Orb, it's gonna... Ah, he... Well, the Alamomola went for Miracoat. That's funny. That pretty much means Alamomola. What the? This Alamomola is way too fast. Like, this is ridiculous. Why is an Alamomola this fast? On the upside, I'm gonna. Buffalin will easily take it. Easily. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Head charge. Should KO. Better KO. Or else I'm screwed. I'm screwed. We'll go with Earthquake. I don't even know if Earthquake actually hits anything that dives. I don't think it does, sadly. I think it's only other things. Yep, of course it is. Of course it is. That's highly annoying. I'm gonna lose because of stupidity. Stupidity in that all my Pokemon are slow and this Alamomola is fast for no reason. And I got the Quick Claw! I'm not gonna lose! Look at that! Look at that! Yeah! Alright! Oh, uh, yeah. I, I wasn't worried, guys. I, I knew I was gonna win. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be okay. That was a great Pokemon battle, but I dis I'm disappointed by myself. Alright. I knew I was gonna win. I knew I was gonna win, guys. I wasn't even worried. I was not worried at all. Alright. So we'll get ready for the next battle. Of course, other matches. Blah, 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 blah. And of course, Roxy would win. Bianca's gonna win this one. And of course, I'm gonna win. And now it's me versus Bianca. Which should be interesting. It's the unresearcher who's always who always pursues the truth. Bianca! Here they are. Roar. What are you, freaking Pokemon? Roar. You have now been phased out. Please take Stealth Rock damage on coming in. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Alright, so, here we go. Facing Bianca, which, I don't know what she got. She got us wireless. This kind of puts me in advantage early on already. It's just X Scissor, and it should easily take care of that Zwilus. That Zwilus does have Hustle, though, so if it has Outrage, I'm kind of screwed. Ah, oh, yeah! Hustle screwed you over. Hustle screwed you over. Huh? What? What? Get compound eyes, buddy. They help a lot more than Hustle. Not really. Zwilus is pretty, pretty intimidating in in you actually because of hustle increasing its attack power and outrage being you know an outrage so it does tons of damage and he has a focus sash yeah and I'm gonna get aqua tail this vasculin probably has adaptability which means my galvantula is dead again this galvantula is turning out to be extremely worthless way too worthless Alright, well, on the upside, I can Earthquake. What the? That's probably going to KO the Boofalent. We'll see. Nope, I live. Very, very good. Because if that would have KO'd the Boofalent, I would have been so screwed. I get a useless crit, like I did at the last battle. And none of my Pokemon are fast, which kind of is... Ah, I should still be faster than a Behem, though. 
I mean, Behem is pretty slow. And as long as this Megahorn hits, and of course it doesn't, because why would it? And now I'm pretty much screwed because I'm guaranteed that Behem has, you know, probably has Psychic. And I doubt that Pig Knight is going to KO this Behem in one hit. It might, but I don't know. This is coming pretty close. Pretty close. We'll see how much Flare Blitz does. Hopefully enough. No way. And Psy Shock. If I live, if I live, I will be amazed. Ah, uh, come on. Really? What the heck? No, they, no, they didn't. No. Because, you know, freaking, freaking, you had to have a Focus Sash. You had to have a f Focus Sash, and I had to miss the Megahorn. So screw you. Screw you, Bianca. Get the fuck out of here. Tits or get the fuck out. Come on. Just e exit the building. Alright, so I lose my very first Pokemon World Tournament thing. Um, because hacks bullshit, which typically happens in my competitive battles. So that's annoying. So, leave a like rating if you guys like this video. But, ugh, I don't like that. If I had just hit the ma- I should have just gone- Honestly, I should in hindsight I should have just gone for the head the head smash or head charge or whatever it was. Why did I go for Megahorn? I knew I should have known it was gonna screw me over. But whatever. But yeah, like I said, non competitive week this week. Probably let's play heavy intensive next week with some battles here and there. So definitely be checking out within the next two weeks. So see you guys later and uh make sure to leave a like rating if you like this video. See you.